the things they do for you guys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're out for a brand new benchmark. Today we're going to score in for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the Intel HD 4600 integrated graphics. I ran it with 16GB of DDR3 RAM and dual channel memory. I am running at 720p on the lowest preset with a custom config to get the game running at a bit better performance. That's right, this is not how the game is naturally running. The game will not run like this naturally. Uh, I will leave the link for the, con the config in the description down below and I will leave a link for my video as well where I show you how to find the config. Like I said, it uses Unreal Engine 4 so it's very easy to tweak and I just put these settings on. I could have gone worse but I thought this was good enough to get Scorn playable because there's no dialogue in Scorn so you're still going to want it to look somewhat, you know, decent and it looks terrible like this to be honest with you but hey it runs. And we are getting over 30 FPS, so sue me. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. The way I managed to get these games running for you guys, man. Oh my gosh, my frame rate. Oh gosh, frame rate's back. You know, you got to do these configs, man, to get games running on the 4600. Love the fact that it has DirectX 11. Didn't expect it. Was welcome for it, though. I will test this out on the Intel HD 620 as well and the Iris 540. I'm not sure about the Iris, but the 620 definitely has to use this config as well. So it lets you play a lot better on the Iris, or the Intel HD 620, unless it's CPU bottleneck, which it is. It is in some areas. Not great. It's just, so that's going to be fun. But other than that, it's going to be a sweet ride up until that point. I kind of just crashed. My audio is really loud and now it isn't because it doesn't exist anymore because that's the thing if anything I do realize it's a bit darker now because of the settings I've put on but I, I can tweak that a bit so it's not this dark but it is what it is is like, do you guys really want to play games like this like is this is this really what y'all want to do? Like, hey, we're even hitting 60 FPS at certain points in time. But it is a bit dark, like I said. It does get quite dark. Um, like I said, the CPU has a lot of dips. The game is not completely optimized. It's not the best for a game that's in a corridor the whole time. But hey, we are managing 60 FPS at certain areas. But when you look into the distance, like, the, for the draw distance, it's terrible. Like, the frame rate just says, how about no, son? How about no? And I'm like, oh, okay. I guess no. It's kind of like that. Kind of the motion blur. Maybe we can bump up the post processing and visual effects a bit. Okay, so it looks a bit better for me. But it is still quite damn dark. So I will need to fix that for the next video. But for right now, it runs. I can't believe it's not butter. And it's still managing to keep the 30 FPS even when I'm in big areas. Like this, which is a crazy huge area. An area I don't want to be in. I feel like people like but actually play it better with like this with the darkness, but it's a bit too dark. You can't really see much. But it's what I does, guys. It's what I does. Anyway, I'm just going to mute myself now and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Once again, don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. We're using 9 gigs of RAM. That's interesting. It, it's not that RAM heavy, to be honest with you. I expected more. Like, you can, you can deal with this. You really can. You would think you can't, but you can. I mean, being able to get 60 FPS on a game that came out in 2022 is always interesting. Um, like I said, I wouldn't lower this down this much. I would cap the game to 30 FPS, and that would be a better experience for most people, I would imagine. But obviously, the whole point of my video is to show you guys what the game can naturally do. You know, if I really go crazy to the walls with it. It's not my job to do that, to show you at 30. Because people will be like, why, why wouldn't you show us how the game actually plays? So there you have it. 
We're getting 60 most of the time. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay.